Welcome to Learning React with me. In the last video, we have seen the life cycle of a component. And we have already seen how a constructor and render methods can be used in our previous videos. Please go through the React playlist in case you missed these concepts. Now, let's see how component did mount works with an example. In one of our videos, we have created components which display the list of users from a dummy array hard-coded in the app component. This dummy array is assigned directly to the state property. In real time, the user state would be initially empty. On component load, we would be making calls to the API that would give the list of users. And this user's data retrieved from network call would be stored in the state for further processing. This is exactly where component did mount will come into picture. To demonstrate this, I'll make use of app component. Let me clear this code. We don't need this dummy array anymore. We don't need this state. I don't need the add user as well. Uh, before uh, saving this, let me show you how this code looked earlier. So this is where we have a form to add a new user. And this is the list of all users displayed in the users component. Uh, we don't need this uh, add user component in current example. So let me remove this. Let me remove the import statement as well. And we don't need this use state hook in this example. Since component did mount is a lifecycle method of a class component, let's start by converting the app component into a class based component. So let me use a keyword class and app component. This class will be extending component class provided by React. And this component class will be coming from this React library. So let me import it here. And since this is a comp uh, class component, we need render method to return HTML. And currently we don't have the user's uh, uh, state here. Before that, let's start by writing a constructor. And inside constructor, we need to call super method. Only then we will have access to this keyword. And let's create a initial state object, which has a property users, which is initially an empty array. Then let me write a method called component did mount. And we have a render method here. So component did mount looks like any other method, but the difference is unlike other methods, we don't have to bind the keyword uh, this to the component did mount. Usually when we create a method, we will do something like this. dot bind of this only then we can use this keyword inside this method but since this is a life cycle method we don't need to bind this to this keyword react has already provided us this keyword inside this method we see an error in the console saying users is not defined this is because we are directly trying to access the users property inside state to access users property, we need to make use of this dot state dot users. And now it compiled successfully. So let's try to understand the order in which these three methods are called constructor, component, did mount, and render. So let me console log console dot log constructor. And let me put another console inside our component did mount. And one more inside a render method which says render so let's try to save this and go to the browser we see an error here saying cannot read properties of undefined 
this error is because we have a typo here it should be users not uh, user so let me correct it and save it now we don't see any error ignore these errors these were uh, previous errors let me refresh and we don't see any errors anymore so uh, if you observe the order of console logs firstly constructor is invoked when a component is rendered and with the initial state that we assign to the constructor render component will render the jsx and finally component did mount method is invoked where the state will be initialized with the data from a api in real time for now we didn't use any state yet just logged a console log here usually component did mount is used to set initial value of state when a component is rendered by making a call to the api in our example, we want to see the list of users once the page is loaded and this user's data will be coming from an API. Since we are focusing on React, I won't be creating any API that gives the list of users. Instead, I'll make use of JSON placeholder, a fake API that helps us to fetch the list of users. So if you go to this uh, website, you can find this uh, API called uh, users and if i click on it you'll see the list of users so this is the uh, it has around uh, 10 users which we can make use of in our application and to extract uh, data from this api we are going to make use of the fetch method uh, which is provided by javascript to make uh, calls to the network so fetch api calls this api in our case it would be users not uh, to do's and this api oh, sorry this fetch method would return a promise that resolves with a response object and to extract the json body content from the response object we use a json method and even json method returns a promise so the second uh, uh, then is used to extract the promise uh, which finally gives the data so let's copy and paste this in component uh, did mount method. Let me remove this console log. We don't need this anymore. And in our case, it is not to do's. It should be users API. So let me click on this and copy this uh, URL. Place it here. So now this uh, JSON response, which we are console uh, console logged here, would return the list of users which we see in the browser. Uh, let for now let us see the console log. Later we can bind this to the user's uh, state. So if we go to the browser in the console, you can see the ten users coming from API not from the hard-coded users list so each user has uh, ID email and username in our example we'll make use of uh, ID and username so let us first uh, as soon as we retrieve data let us assign this to the state and to do that let me make few code changes here above this console log I'm going to update the state using set state and inside the set state I want to assign users list with the JSON data which is coming from the API so users colon JSON and this will update users uh, uh, property users array with the data from JSON variable now we can see the list of users which are coming from here if you observe the first user's name is uh, uh, Graham and the second is Havel so we see the same users coming here so the component responsible for rendering these users is the users list to which we are passing uh, this dot state dot users as a prop which is named as users and if you go to this users list the props which is the users list Initially, this component is checking if there is any data present in the user's array or not. If it is an empty array, then the length would be equal to zero. And that is the reason we have seen this message, no records found, when we uh, rendered our component initially before calling the API. 
and once we assign the data coming from component did mount uh, through an api the state will be updated and it will automatically re-render with the uh, data from api and in that case user's length won't be zero and hence it would be going to the second return statement where we are looping through each user item from the user's array and inside this loop we are calling a user uh, component which takes uh, uh, an item as user so each item present in this uh, array will be going as this variable to this user component and if you look at this user component through the props whatever uh, item uh, we get item is nothing but the name which we assigned here so props dot items dot name in this array name is this name which is displayed on the screen so uh, props dot item would be displayed and uh, in order to uh, differentiate each item in this list we use a variable called key I mean property called key which takes user dot id so that react can distinguish each record uniquely and all these concepts we have already discussed in our previous videos what is key and how exactly it works and what is the importance of this key in react everything is covered in detail in our previous videos feel free to go through the react playlist and understand all these concepts in case you missed them i hope you understood the concept of component did mount Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro.